Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I'm Fireman Dan. In the last episode, we went through the Forbidden Forest into an interesting cave adventure. Found out my gear was gear slots were full. Went and sold everything. Got like a thousand golden coins or whatever you want to call them from that. And then I thought, okay, well we'll go ahead and get another spell. And that spell was this one right here, Depulsa, which just you know throws things away from you. But in order to do this, you needed three potions. Use all three potions. One of which I had the ingredients for. I could brew. Another one I just had to buy. The, I bought the potion. And the third one I bought the recipe. That took all my money. I'm down to 167 out of like 1,500. Now I got this spell. However, I was going to do this. From Snape, we got... Or Sharp, I'm sorry. We got... Uh, another quest, side quest for another spell and once again we gotta acquire and use two potions the potions are expensive the recipe for the potions are only like 200 gold more than each potion but I need a total of 2,000 gold to acquire both recipes to get this to get this spell and like I said I got 167 so it's not gonna be happening for a little bit Instead, because of that, we're going flying. And that is right here in front of us. There's a fast travel spot over here. We'll hit this up. And then we'll get to class. You can't imagine how inconvenient... Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clotten, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick <laughs> safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Yay! Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through space. each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one <laughs> This'll piece. This'll take some getting used to. <laughs> this is brilliant. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay. Lead the way. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. So, toggle, flight speed, control, and space at 70 cent. What a view! I think it'd be <laughs> easier if you could just hello. Point nice and day look. for a flight. Ha! Well, you can in the can. I've got this. But not a send or descend. You can look left and right. Just not go up and down. 
Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Put your scream in, big sissy. Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. <laughs> I'm turning out to be a rather naughty student, aren't I? Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. 
I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitches in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. That was fun. So, now what? New quest available, escape to open quest log. Let's go check out the room of requirement, what do you say? say that I thought she did I hope you know that it isn't true With Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor.
In we go. Our own little special place. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. So right mouse, space, F right mouse. Splendid. Now. Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I've been in the possession of Moonstone. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Push it away. Akio. Good ball, sir. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Friend in the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Revelio. <laughs> 
How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Akio! Revelio! Revelio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Interesting. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. 
Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked a desk of description. You should reveal magical property of any identified gear you collected. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be added. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. So space, space, F, left mouse, space, 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 F, left mouse, space. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Let's go with the eccentric one, I guess. So next up we need what was the other one? The potting table. Used to grow plants. A small pot. Hmm, question is, can I put several potting tables down? Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or nope. grow plants. 
You Presuming, okay. of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. I'm purchase that um, utility. Desk of description, which we already got, obviously, the desk of description. Oh, oh okay, whatever. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Okay. Obviously, we got to Dittany. Malice Week, cover plan to produce release, consume in Merlin Trials. Magic plants shrieks when on Earth. Magic can be used to stun and harm enemies in, the, in a radius. Magic seeds can be purchased at the dog, Dogwind and Death Cat. Um, not the cat. Magic herb that produces sprigs used in the invisibility potion. Not the grass seeds can be purchased. That magic meat can be grown in pots of any size. Chinese chomping cabbage, when released, anybody in Yeah, we've already seen that. Must be grown in medium or large pots. Sort of thing. A, a hardy plant that produces bulbs used in Thunderbrew. Shivering seeds can be purchased from the magic neat. Oh, crap. Was it Thunderbrew we needed? No. But it must be grown medium and large. Fluxweed, tall plant to produce stems used in the focus potion. Fluxweed, seeds can be purchased from the magic. Meat must be grown in large pots. Venomous, whatever. When, when deployed, shoot acid at nearby enemies. Venomous and seeds can be purchased in dogwood. It must be grown in large pots. Okay, so. Okay, there's that. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here Parsons before. Station. So I can brew the focus potion, but I can't obviously grow this stuff yet. I think it was invisibility and what was the other one? Let me go check that quest out real quick here. Quest. Um, invisibility and Thunderbird, yeah. So if I can get the, ing I need the recipe for them. Yeah, that's gonna be expensive. Take things. Quest. Let's do one quest. Interior decorating. Like to meet with me in room requirements. Altering spell, con whatever. While we're here, might as well get it done and over with. Be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. 
Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay. Floor decorations. Let's get a rug in the middle. Check out some chairs. Okay, can we get a table first? We can. Oh, okay. Furniture. Nope. Deke hasn't Seating. seen this many plants here before. Oops. And I know I can change everything up into colors, but. I'm doing this on camera. I'm not gonna bother with it. Dick thinks Ooh, you should that's be a bigger of table than rude. Bigger table than I thought it was. I think it's more like an end table. Alright, now we need what did it say um wall decorations. Whoop, wrong button. Number four. Get a nice. conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering to customize it. Dee cannot believe how many beasts you have here. It warms my heart to see your interest in herbology, dare I say. Blossom. Change the color of an item and adjust the size of it, okay. Change size. Change the color of something. Uh, how about... How about this lamp? Oh, control, hold the table, snapping. Okay. That didn't change the color or something. Oh, F, change color. Did it work? It did work. Change it, change it back. I have some questions about alteration, Professor. Yes? Thank you, Professor. I have no more questions. I'll be here if you need anything else. 
change the co oh it didn't work darn it so change the color nicely done now you're ready for something a little more advanced you can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture try these new designs on the floor or balcony try aiming at the floor or at the big thing Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Oh, that is cool. It goes with the stone floors, too. Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. happening things are changing an even bigger space how did that happen the room equips itself to your needs it must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting if you'd like to customize the space further you can use these spell crafts you'll find more of them both inside and outside the school thank you professor I shall keep an eye out good I'll leave you to it this is your space now. Use it wisely. Nice. So, uh, challenges first, quest. Collections. Appearances. Is that all for collections? Uh, I'll post. We get that in a second. Inventory. What's an inventory? Bath. Oh, that's the bathtub note. Gear, what we find in gear. All right. What am I missing in gear? Headgear. Oh, dear Lord Almighty. Uh, I mean, it adds three to the defense. I'll keep it on, but that just looks outright hideous. Talent points? I got one talent point to spend.
This also releases an additional blast directly around you. May come back for that one. I don't know, that the healing potion looks pretty interesting. Alright. Now we are gonna cut this here, but let's see what this outpost says. We require system with delivery, thought you might be interested. Vision me and Jay Pippin, if you'd like to earn a few coins. Not forget gotten about a library venture. How did you fare? We came from a listen spell practice. Meet me outside the defense of Dark Horse classroom. I know a discreet place near there. And uh, please meet me in the seventh floor quarter as soon as you can. Have an idea where you can focus your studies away from prying eyes and description. Okay. That's a room of requirements. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Fireman Dan. We're going to cut this here. We've got ourselves some fine and, and the room of requirements. I will see y'all next time in Hogwarts.